Okay, Andy, you've played both Roger and Stan. They face off in the semifinals. Can you just talk about that matchup and how you see it sort of playing out? Well, I, I think it's that matchup on uh, the surface that, that's here this week. I think the, the surface will favor Roger. I think uh, uh, it, it's a little bit quicker. Um, you know, when Stan has time, he hits the ball as hard and <laughs> has the most impact on a tennis ball of, of anyone I've ever seen. Um, Roger's going to want to take time away. He's going to want to keep Stan moving to where he doesn't have two feet under him. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see Roger serve and volley a lot on first serve. Stan's kind of gone to that, that chip return a little bit more. Uh, basically, just he's going to try to keep Stan to where he doesn't have his feet set very often. He's either moving or you know having, having to kind of play a shot where he's not fully loaded. Um, I, I like the matchup for Roger, but uh, you know Stan, when he gets this deep in a tournament, he's proven over the last three years he's become an unbelievable closer, so uh, it, it'll be fun to watch. And if they get into, say, a, a battle of backhands, is that something that Roger's trying to avoid, or how does how is the match sort of won and lost for each of the guys? Well, I, I don't know that Roger's going to want to get into to trading, you know, coming over back into coming over back, and I think that's where he can utilize uh, and he did it to me forever, but utilize that short chip, moving it in and out, play one short, play one deep. He's going to want Stan constantly moving and not being set and hitting the ball from the same spot a couple times in a row. That's when Stan becomes uh, insanely dangerous. So uh, just trading blows uh, back into back end, I don't know that that's something that Roger wants to get into, but um, he might be the best of all time on, on being able to switch paces, switch directions, and uh, this court is, is fast enough where that chip can be effective. Okay, so we're getting a little ahead of ourselves if we talk about a Roger Rafa final, yeah. but is that a dream final? What would that look like in 2017 for men's tennis? Well, it, it, if it happens, and I think uh, as, as fans of the game like we are, uh, I, I think we all want to see it. Um, it, it and I, I, was, I, I said yesterday, I, I think it might be the most important match of all time. Um, and, I, and I don't say that lightly, but if you look at the context of history, Rafa at 14, Roger at 17. If Rafa comes away and he's won that, he's two away from the all-time lead with the French Open staring at us in the face uh, coming up. If Roger wins that, he's got 18 versus 14. He's created enough distance that I don't see that gap being made up. Um, the, 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 the importance of that match and where it will stand and, 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 and dictate the history of our game as it's told for a long time is, is, is enormous, and I don't know that it can be overstated.